peace, 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 and peace. We are in day two of our Love Yourself Up Challenge. And how is it working out for you thus far? Those who uh, said that they would participate. Um, I hope that you are taking advantage of the journaling and just doing some reflecting and just taking 10 minutes at the most outside of your day um, in order to reflect and to start to reprogram the way that you perceive yourself, the way that you uh, have your inner dialogue with yourself, the way that you, you what, what words and what thoughts you choose to think within your own thought process. Um, the intention of this is to not just do it for this week, but just to reset so that moving forward, we will develop new patterns of, of how to be more self-actualized moving forward in our lives. So today we talked about emotional vocabulary. And this is a really powerful tool to have because oftentimes when we're interacting with people, it's like, oh, how are you doing today? And we're like, oh, I'm fine. You know, how are you? And, you know, and it's like we're on autopilot. And not only we're we being dishonest in the conversation with that person, but we're also being dishonest with ourselves. When we break down the word emotion, it's energy in motion. Everything's energy, right? And so even feelings have, have energy. So when we don't properly emote, release those emotions, they fester and become stagnant in the body. That can cause ulcers. It can cause fibroids. It can cause cysts. It can cause um, heart disease because you're not expressing from the heart. It can create a sore throat or like a swollen glands or our longitis because we're not emoting our truth out of our throat chakra. So this is really, really deep when you think about this, you know? So if you can develop a larger emotional vocabulary, then you can better decipher what energies it is that you're feeling in your body. We are complex beings. We're more than just okay. We're more than just fine. We're more than just swell. You know, we are so much more than that. So if you can just uh, enhance, evolve your, your, um, your emotional vocabulary, then you can start to become more honest with yourself. And then you can also be able to know what energy is in your body that you need to balance out. And, uh, and it could be through expression. It could be our expression through the through, through speaking. It could be expression through movement. It could be expressing uh, expression through art, through drawing, you know, music, whatever it is that, that your spirit resonates with. Um, but again, the more clear you are about how to define these energies in your body, uh, the, more, uh, the more efficient you can be with releasing these energies. Okay, so um, that's really the, the quick little talk that I want to share with you all today. Um, and I, I hope that you're continuing to, uh, the affirmations. I just want to say something about affirmations. Um, the thing about affirmations is this. So if anyone who's, who's, who's chatted with me or, uh, you know, or, or like followed any of the other challenges I've done in the past, at some point I always bring up what's called the model. And this is something that was created by Brooke Ostio. She's a, a life coach. And so with the model, it says this, that our thoughts create our emotions. Our thoughts affect our emotions. Our emotions affect our actions. Our actions affects our results, right? So meaning that it all starts in our brain. It all starts with our thoughts. And our thoughts are based on the programming that we have, whether it's from our upbringing or what from society tells us. And if we allow our thoughts to run amok, then we find ourselves, um, the way that Brooke Castillo puts it is that if you allow your thoughts to run amok, it's like a toddler running around with a knife in its hand. So what we want to do is get in con get in control of our thoughts. We want to be able to be to be able to direct our thoughts in a way that serves our highest good, our highest good. And one of the ways to do that is with affirmations. And I know that sometimes it seems like affirmations are just corny and cheesy, but they do have some power to them because when you say something over and over again, it's like working a muscle. You know, like when you're working out, you you work at that muscle. And after time, you know, it starts to get stronger. It's the same thing with our neurotransmitters in our brain. When we start to fire off a particular thought over and over and over again, and it, it you know, on a biological perspective, it starts to create uh, this its own neurological pathway, and it becomes locked in. It becomes part of your your brain's muscle memory. So. That's why um, it's just so important that you start integrating affirmations. And if you, for an example, um, you know, if you're trying to lose weight, for an example, um, or if you just have just low self-esteem, it's going to be unrealistic to start from going, I hate myself. Every time I look in a mirror, I, like, all I can see is just my ugliness, my imper imper imperfectness. 
it's it's difficult to go from that to I love myself and I'm beautiful and it's not realistic. But the trick of what you can do is go from a, a negative to a neutral. So for an example, if you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, I hate myself, I'm ugly, I'm fat. Instead, what you can do from there is move to I have a body. Just something super neutral. Uh, it's a fact. It's true that you do have a body. And what that's doing, it's solely dissipating that negative charge about how you feel about yourself. And then once you do that over and over again for a while, then there is a shift. When you look at yourself in the mirror, you know, you, you're know you not quite at that point of saying, I love myself, but at least you've moved out of that negative uh, side of that spectrum to just embrace the fact that you have a body. And then from there, then you can move to a positive. So this is something I wanted to, to just kind of add to the conversation about how to work with affirmations. Okay, so um, that's my share for the day. Yeah, so I hope that you're enjoying this process. Um, I am, um, what I'm going to be doing for my self-care this evening, I'm treating myself to a Yoni steam, which I'm really excited. I, I've created my own little makeshift Yoni steam in my house. And this has been a really uh, profound experience for me because I'm constantly go, 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 go. And it's really difficult for me to... Uh, in the past, it's been difficult for me to carve out self-care. And so this challenge for me is uh, allow me to really put that in the forefront and also getting back into journaling again. I've been really enjoying that process because I, I just really dropped the ball and I haven't done it in quite a while. And it's just journaling. It's just really, you know, it doesn't take that long. It's just a really powerful self-care uh, technique to do because it gives you an opportunity to really see what's going on in there. Because when we're constantly in the grind of the day to day, you know, like we just you know, we're constantly putting ourselves in the back burner and then we are not really connected to what's really going on. And the more connected you can be to what's happening in your mind and your heart, then again, just like with the emotional um, vocabulary, when you're more connected within yourself, you can better decipher of what it is that needs to be shifted in order to create that balance. So, um, yeah, so I hope that, again, you're enjoying this process, and um, I look forward to chatting with you all tomorrow. And if at any point, if you feel like you want to, you know, share your process, if you want to hit me up in the inbox, please feel free to do so, and we can have a dialogue. I would love that. Okay, everyone, so have a wonderful evening, day, whenever you're watching this video, and I will be sending you another video tomorrow. Okay, take care. Peace.